Hello, welcome to White Davy Gardening and Worm Farm. If you like my channel, please press the subscribe button. So today I decided that I'm going to go ahead and prune my pumpkins. So anyone that has a reasonable size pumpkin on it, like this one, then I go ahead to the tip of the pumpkin vine and cut it off. This one here, I did that as well. Some of the plants that have the female blossom, they don't. The pumpkin on them is not large enough yet, so until I'm certain that they are going to stay in place, I'm not going to be pruning. Okay, so also I'm going to be doing a bit of harvesting. This plant is doing very well. Quite a few cucumbers on here. So this is my cucumber harvest for today. I'm just gonna put these in my little plastic bag. I see the pest have actually found their way into the bag already. Anyway, they're helping me to break it down so I won't complain. Over here I have some banana, some sorry not banana, uh, what is it called? Long sweet pepper. This is the first time I am growing them actually. So I don't know when they're actually ready for harvesting. Quite a few of them there. This plant is loaded for its little size. I think I'm gonna give it a little bit more time. Maybe I should allow one to ripen and then I'll have an idea of what is the actual size that it grows to. I got the seeds from Unwhite Gluten Free Recipes and Mini Garden. Yeah. So we'll just give that some more time, allow one to ripen and then I'll have an idea when it reaches maturity. As you can see, a lot of my potatoes are drying down, which means that they need to be harvested. This bed has practically fully dried down, so I think I'm going to be harvesting this one first. Let's see what's going on down there. Huh? I can see a potato there already. Okay, so I'm going to be harvesting this bed today. Okay, so let's harvest some potatoes. Oh, I bruised it. I went inside to get myself some gloves and could not remember what I went for. It is only when I started digging with my hands that I remember that it is gloves that I was actually going for. I'm liking what I'm seeing already. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely liking it. Ooh, look at this one. Nice. I 
I can tell you just from those two that I pulled up already that this is the best potato harvest I've ever had. <laughs> Look how funny this one grow. It looks like chocho. Um, let's see, what do they call it? Christophine and what do some other people call it? I don't remember what they call it here, but it looks like that green fruit that grows on a vine, so not a pumpkin. Um, I don't remember what it is called here. <laughs> It's a really nice one. These ones are much smaller. What's that? Oh, I'm not sure what that is, but it seemed to be mushy. I don't know why it's so mushy there. Maybe that's why the potatoes are small because everything on the root of this plant is mushy. There's anything remaining in here. Even the soil in here feels mushy, I'm not sure why. Anyway, I don't want to disturb the root of my beans. And this is the last potato plant in this bed, and the largest one too. seem to have a nice oh look at that why is it turning white it actually look as if it uh, was about to grow some form of I'm not sure it has a lesion on it this one I'm not sure why it has all of them on this one it has a lesion I'm not sure what that is I've never seen that on potatoes Okay, so I believe that's it. I don't want to disturb my beans because these are the only one of my liber beans that actually germinated. So I only have two plants and they're flowering, so I don't want anything to happen to them. Okay, so let's look at the harvest from this raised bed. 
these are the potatoes from this raised bed this is my largest raised bed potato raised bed now we're going to go over to the containers and see what's going on there so I've emptied the container I'm going to see how much I get from each of the raised beds I'm going to be harvesting just the plant that is died back here I'm not going to harvest everything even though they are showing signs of them dying back oh this came up easy it rotted out interesting I wonder why yeah that one rotted out so there's nothing underneath it so let's leave this one let's see if it is the same thing going on here These are different type of potatoes from the first one. These, the leaves are, sorry, the skin is very thin. I think these might be my rosette. But they're quite small. I'm disappointed how small they are. But I'll just use them as baby potatoes. Sorry, there's nowhere to set up the camera stand to record this. So I'm just going to harvest this one off camera and then show you the result. So this is my harvest of rosette potatoes. They are very small, very, very small. Like, that's one of the largest ones. But I'm thinking I have maybe a pound and a half of potatoes here. So we're gonna put these with the others and then go and harvest from another container. Okay, so this is the first location, the first container that I've ever harvested potatoes from this year. Oh my goodness! Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh yeah! Look at that! Nice! These are red. Not sure what they're called, but it's the red type. This is one of my seed potatoes. <laughs> wow, it is still trying to grow. Look at that. Let's just see if there's any more potatoes. Oh, nice. I have to be careful how I dig around in here because of my red cabbages. Okay, let's do this one. Oh, only one. The rest of them are just tiny stuff. Let's see. Oh, well, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> I'm gonna plant this back and see what happens. I don't expect to harvest anything from it though. I'm just planting it back for the fun of it. 
Now let's harvest this one. Poor cabbage getting covered in dirt. I don't know if there's anything on this. Okay, so that one seems to only produce. Oh, there's another one. creating a mound around these cabbages to encourage it to start folding up okay so for this bed let's see let's get this in the light This is my harvest from this bed. Probably about three pounds of potatoes. Now let's move over to the other one. potatoes on these and this one seems to be smaller but there are far more far more potatoes just that they are smaller and this is the seed potato oh so that mushy stuff on the other one was where the seed potato was okay Another one of the seed potatoes. These ones are very small, but the plants died back. Don't know why those potatoes are so small. I think I'm at the root of another potato plant now.
Okay, let's check this one out. Amazing, these ones died back before everything else. But they have the smallest potatoes on them. Oops. I scratched it. Seem as if that's the only reasonable size one from that plant. Okay. Two more plants to go. Let's see potato. Okay, I think that's it for that one. Final potato plant in this bed. And I'm not expecting much from it either. I guess this is one of the disadvantages of planting other vegetables with potatoes because you have to disturb the root of the plant in order to harvest your potato unless of course the vegetable would be ready before the potatoes Okay, so this is the harvest from this bed. That's the harvest from the previous bed. So these are all the potatoes I'm going to be harvesting today. I'm gonna to put them together so you can see what my harvest is like. So this is my harvest of potatoes. This is the best potato harvest I've had in the few years that I've been trying to grow potatoes. Most times they are usually maybe this small size or around that or a little bit bigger but I've never had this much and this size so I'm quite happy yes I still have some more to harvest but not a lot um, I'd say maybe a little less than what I've harvested before that than what I just harvest but I'm pretty pleased because I think I have about 10 pounds of potatoes here so now the foliage from the potatoes I'm going to be putting them in this black bag here and allow them to heat up in the sun for a week or so before I move them over to either the worm bin or the compost bin so if you enjoy this video and you would like to see more videos like these please take a moment to give me a thumbs up you can leave a comment in the section below if you're new to my channel please subscribe and turn on your notification for more updates like these Thank you so much for watching and have yourself a wonderful day. Yemen, yeah, a time for growth.